Hey everybody, Brian from Progressive Combat Systems here, and today you're going to learn how to defend yourself against a crazy knife-wielding attacker. Now I'm about to show you a video of a crazy man in Toronto who attacks two different people with a large knife. Now I want you to get the most out of this video, so here's some things I want you to look for. First, Notice how easy the attacker is to spot because of his body language. Number two, notice how the victims ignore the clear signs of danger. And finally, I want you to notice how much time the first victim has before the attack. Not very much. And then how much time the second attacker has quite a lot. So here's the clip. Now there are two very valuable lessons we can learn from that video. Lesson number one, both of them got stabbed with a pretty long knife. One of them in the kidney, the other in the intestines. And yet, both of them still were able to function. The woman picked up her bag, went into the store. The man jogged off, got into a taxi cab and drove away. That means if the attacker had continued his attack, they both would have had the ability to continue fighting. Human bodies are a lot tougher than what we may realize, except for some pretty vulnerable areas. So the next time you watch a uh, spy movie and a little knife goes into somebody's side and they instantly die, you can call BS. The key takeaway from that, if you're still alive and you're still on your feet, you need to fight back, pick the best targets to take your attacker out ASAP. Lesson number two, awareness and avoidance are key to self-defense. Notice how both of those victims saw the attacker and they chose to ignore the clear signs of danger. Now, I'm not gonna say anything bad about the victims, but I do want all of us to learn an important lesson from their mistake, that when you see danger, you don't ignore it. You either get out of town or you get ready to fight. Okay, let's get into some tactics and some techniques that you can use to defend yourself if you were in either one of their shoes. Let's look at the female victim scenario first. She sees this man in the middle of the street, looking crazy with a knife. Then he turns, sees her, and starts approaching her rapidly, very menacingly. Her first option, turn and run. Get the heck out of there. Go get in her car, lock the door, drive away, call the police. If she can't get to her car in time, maybe she could go inside of a business, possibly lock a door. Now, if she doesn't have time to get away, she needs to face the danger. She needs to turn and be ready to fight. The tactic that we're going to use for that is called defanging the snake. Defanging the snake is where you move backwards away from your attacker. You force them to chase you and lunge at you. When they lunge and swing their arm at you, you move backwards and you cut their hand or arm. This cuts the tendons and ligaments on the arm or in the hand, which should make them drop their weapon. And now you can run or continue to fight whatever is more appropriate. Now, if you don't carry your own weapon, this is the time that you need to be looking for a weapon of opportunity. You can grab a chair, you can grab a tire iron, you can find anything that's either sharp or blunt to attack their hand. Next, let's look at the jogger. He had like two seconds to make a reaction. That is not a lot of time, folks. So even if he was carrying a gun or a knife or whatever, he wouldn't have had time to get those out before that knife came in. So his priority is to defend that imminent attack, make space so that he can either draw his own weapon or turn and run, find a weapon, or get away. To do that, we're gonna utilize what I affectionately call the shit, hit, split maneuver. The shit is nothing more than a flinch. Okay, so here comes a horizontal knife attack. Whoa! 
you put both of your forearms in the way. Tony Blauer coined the term flinch spear, and I think that's a very appropriate name for what's happening here. Basically, we want to get perpendicular forearm angles, and we want to intercept right in about the middle of the forearm with our forearm. That'll keep the knife hopefully away from us, creates a lot of surface contact for us to have some error correction. Next, we have the hit. The hit is meant to be a disabling blow that will hopefully take the uh, attacker down, if not, it'll at least stun him for a moment. Great thing to do is just ram your forearm right into their throat. Uh, you may not always have the ability to do that with distance, so there are some other options. In some cases, you may just skip the hit altogether and move on to the next move, which is the split. The split is literally shove them away and get the heck out of there. Now, let's say you have someone who's real big. You may not be able to shove them away, but you can shove their knife-wielding arm away. And while they're recoiling, that's an opportunity for you to get back, draw your weapon and take a fighting stance, or to book it, get out of there. Here's some examples of shit hit split. Now, here are some things to keep in mind. Moves that work in the dojo often work because we have a compliant training partner and because we know what's about to happen. You know it's gonna be a knife attack. In a real situation, you don't know what's about to happen. It takes your brain a few seconds to spin into combat mode once you recognize a threat. So any complex maneuvers that you train, you're probably not gonna be ready to do and they will probably fail. Okay, let's review our lessons. Lesson number one, if you see danger, don't ignore it. Either try to avoid it, or if you can't, get ready to fight. Lesson number two, if you get stabbed and you're still alive and still on your feet, fight. Keep fighting. Pick the best targets and take that sucker out ASAP. And finally, practice the shit, hit, split, make space, defang the snake maneuver until it becomes automatic. Well, folks, I hope you learned some very valuable lessons that'll make you a better fighter. So until next time, I'm Brian with Progressive Combat Systems. Train smart.